Bulls fans, Adam here back in with another Bulls unboxing and I have a really cool one today. This is the new Sea King Gargantuan War Beast uh, for War Machine slash Hordes. Uh, this is of course for the Troll Blood faction. This is a super cool looking kit. I am ready to do this. I saw the plaster wrap on it and it's pretty hefty, but uh, you can see here, I do want to mention I don't believe there's going to be any cards in this particular kit. If you want to uh, get those stat cards, you can find the full rules and the stat cards available on the Privateer Press uh, website, privateerpress.com slash rules, or in the War Machine app, War Machine 2 app to, to be exact. And you can get that app on Google Play or the App Store. So uh, he's got a boat on his back. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Let's just jump on in. All right, just took the plastic wrap off. As you saw, I'm ready to do this one. Uh, ooh, we've also got the new uh, little bit of plastic tape here. Let me pull that off. All right. Did not did not know that was there. All right, here we go. Bum, bum, bum. It's a box in a box with some foam. Okay, so that's everything in the uh, actual box. Put that to the side for now. Uh, we've got the bit of foam here. I'm not sure. I guess that was like that before I opened it. So, okay. Um, we have... Bum, bum, bum. This is it looks like a resin and metallic uh, metal kit. So there's all that. We got the big base, the big old frisbee base, which it's currently stuck in there. Looks like we got a bit popped out here. Maybe. Well, hang on. Let me get this part out. All right. Whoa. All right. Here we go. Jigsaw puzzle. There's the base. You got your uh, side markers and then the uh, the front there. That's very important when you're assembling these models. Just a heads up. And then inside, looks like we got a couple of bits that are. Possibly loose. I don't know if this is just leftover flash, um, but uh, I will put that to the side for now. Could be important later. I don't know. Uh, whoa, big old resin torso and legs. Holy moly! Look at that thing. <laughs> this. I thought that maybe the Mountain King and and this gargantuan would share like a combo kit. Nope. There ain't no combo uh, with this kit. That is that is ginormous though. That's. Whew. All right, that's a big old kit. Uh, all right, we've got the arm. Whoa, I'm just gonna get all these bits out first. This thing looks like a giant. <laughs> There's the side of the boat. The boat. That would uh, that would be the port side, by the way. So, um, whoa, giant anchor. Anchors away. Um, we've got the whoa the mast. That's torn and shattered. And then this looks like the uh, starboard side of the boat. Yar! <laughs> some some poor pirate had a really bad day. Yeah, it goes together like that. That is really cool. All right, moving this to the side. All right, um, wow, I don't even know where to start here. I'm gonna actually, so let's look at these bits first since they're out and then we'll come back to the ones in here. So, holy cow. All right, there's the mast and this is all resin. This is a uh, hardy, hardy resin. This is not, soft plastic or anything like that. Uh, really good detail so far on, on the mask. You can see all of the detail in the wood grain and stuff like that that's already carved into the mask. You don't have to replicate that. Uh, matter of fact, let me zoom in and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Notice on the mast, some some models, they won't have the wood grains and stuff uh, in there, but you have to paint that in there, but things like little nicks and scratches along the mast, they're actually uh, included here. So all the splintering on the wood grain. So really cool detail on that. So that's just an awesome, awesome bit to begin with. If anybody's not going to use this bit, uh, let us know at Bulls and uh, we'll use it for an objective marker or something. <laughs> here is the uh, the starboard side of the boat. Uh, you can see here, really cool. Uh, it does have a little bit of uh, clipping cleaning to be to be done to this thing, but it's got all that crazy seaweed on there. I uh, love the design of the on the side of the boat too, with the uh, uh, yeah. What was going on there? Uh, the inside of the boat, you can see wood planks and stuff like that. So the inside is detailed if you want to go crazy and paint the inside, which I think you're going to want to based on how this model uh, kind of sits up. Um, but wow, cool looking thing. So the port side of the boat mm, kind of mirrors that. And again, if you didn't see earlier, this kind of goes together. There's two flat sides. There's a little bit there that kind of shows you where they line up and then boom, they'll go together like so. Once you cut off the little nose piece there. Yeah. Oh man, so yeah, they got the crazy seaweed going on here. You've got the uh, the pattern on the side of the boat for decoration, and I'm I'm assuming that this kind of just rests on the his back somehow. Um, I don't know yet. I haven't haven't looked at it too too close, but 
That is super cool. And while we're doing it, let's go ahead and look at this massive piece of resin. This is all resin all the time. Um, just because I know this is gonna freak people out. <laughs> it's heavy. This thing weighs a chunk. I would not want to get hit in the head uh, if somebody got mad and threw this at me. Just saying. Um, it would probably shatter the, the you know, because my head's so hard, but uh, <laughs> no, I would, I would be in the hospital. But uh, depending on how fast you threw it. Anyway, it's got a bunch of sea stuff going on here. This is one of the trolls that is obviously uh, from the sea. So, man, you can see all the coral and stuff going on up top. It's got like whale bones or something on his shoulder pad. Super crazy looking. Um, his back has more of that seaweed that we saw on the boat. Just craziness going on. There's some kind of like spine um, that he is uh, using as a fashion statement. Um, he's got a keg because it's a troll. You gotta have a keg. And then his uh, his loincloth covering up all the uh, troll bits. Oh man, I what is going on, Privateer Press? Is that coral? I don't know. <laughs> uh, sea and enemies. Uh, his claws, his toes are really uh, claws. He needs to go get a manicure on that. I don't know if you can, it's pretty pretty gnarly looking. Uh, and then he's got a treasure chest in his beard, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> this is such a cool thing. I just wanna kind of assemble him now and put him on my desk and just leave him there like that because he can, he just stands. So pretty cool. Uh, here's his, his uh, left arm. You can see this is all just flash. This will come off with a with some water and a toothbrush if you just scrub it down. I would recommend doing that anyway, just to remove any excess mold release on the model, just kind of as a, as a thing. Uh, you can see how the arm joint would attach. Obviously this little nub here coming out is not part of the model. You'd have to cut that, but then it would fit snugly right in there. And uh, speaking of snugly, he, uh, <laughs> ugh, he, he definitely has some uh, snuggling hands. <laughs> I guess those are, Probably claw bits you can, I, I guess we'll find out in the other box, but uh, I'm pretty sure he's got nails that go along with that hand, but he's got web fingers. It's definitely like Creature of the Deep vibe. Uh, I love it, it's pretty cool looking. All this extra flash all over the place, but you can see here all the coral and stuff that's kind of grown on him as he's probably, you know, run the depths or something. So if you want a pirate theme going on, check that out. Speaking of pirate themes, this thing has a giant anchor. Holy crap. Uh, very cool stuff. I think this is actually where this bit that broke off of came from, from somewhere. I don't know for sure, but I'll figure it out later. That is super cool. Again, little bits of uh, this excess uh, resin you, you will have to cut off. Not that big a deal. Just cl clip and clean it and you'll be fine. But that is a super cool anchor. That, that looks like it came from the Titanic or something. So very cool. Um, let's take a look at some of the other bits that are in the box. The, uh, plastic here. All right, so we've got another arm with claws. We'll get, we'll come to this shortly. Um, let me move these to the side. Give myself some room. There's the big old chain. We'll come back to that. There's part of the deck. Yep, two part. Okay, I can't tell which side is which, but both sides are uh, actually detailed, so that's kind of cool. Um, but that's part of the deck. There's part of the mast with the uh, on the boat. Not the mast. The uh, the lady on the front of the boat. I don't, uh, the name escapes me what it's called, but that's what that is. Um, the face, look at that. Definitely Creature of the Deep style. And then looks like more of his, this may be his backside, I believe. And then we've got the metal bits. Again, for any of the metal bits, you're gonna wanna make sure that you, uh, um, make sure that both sides are very clean before you assemble. Uh, so the glue um, will be able to attach correctly. Oh man. See what I'm talking about though? Wow, a little bit of gap fill, but you, nothing nothing crazy. It's not like it's super far off or anything, but it, it definitely goes right like that. So super cool, super cool. Okay, here's, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dump these out if that's okay. Uh, I've got more of that spine thing for his back. Uh, and then these are the claws. I don't know why these bits are separately, but they are. So these are the claws that would go in his fingernails for his, like that. So I don't know which is which, but there's four of those. Uh, Four, four, five of those, excuse me, uh, for those bits. So I'm gonna put this bit in there. Anyway, all right. So let's take a look, closer look at all this stuff. Man. All right, so we've got that. That's really cool. That's gonna go on the front of the boat. All right, and then we've got the, uh, the deck. You can see it's all jacked up. Pretty cool. Oh, there's like the mast where it broke off from, I guess. 
Or you could maybe, where's that mast at? You could probably, boom, do that. <laughs> or if you didn't want to use it, you could use that, that side, I guess. I don't know. Don't know. You could probably go either way. Boom. That is super cool, though. All right, enough of that. Playing with my boat. Uh, we saw this. This is uh, the backside, as I guessed here. Boom. Goes in there like that. Flip and clean it, obviously, a little bit of work. No, no big deal. We saw that this was the lower jaw that would attach metal bit onto the resin there, so for the full full face. And then that, of course, would go here. Brah. Kind of get an idea what this model's gonna look like. <laughs> it's, it's like the abomination from the Hulk. Yeah. But with like more of sea stuff. And then his big old fist, fist for the pounding. <laughs> Uh, there's this bit blocking that. That's what's going on there. But you can see, super cool, super muscle arm. This dude's been hanging out with char doors. He's got the the two muscly arms instead of one though. Uh, and then it's all the coral and stuff. This is such a cool, <laughs> freaking awesome looking miniature. I gotta say, uh, I don't know where that uh, where that all attaches there, but there's a the big chain. I don't know. This is kind of overwhelming if I'm honest. There's a lot of cool stuff going on here. Um, this of course the new Sea King. Gargantuan War Beast for War Machine should be out hopefully by the time you see this video. Super cool stuff. I don't know what to do with myself right now. I, I don't know if I want to build this guy. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of frightened, but uh, wow. Cool kit. Uh, awesome job, Privateer Press. I can't wait to see this, see this bad boy on the tabletop. I'm Adam Avery Bowles signing off. Have a good one. Ooh.